All new at 5 o'clock, plans for a major flashy professional tennis complex in West Mech has neighbors on the east side of Charlotte concerned development there is not being prioritized. We first told you about the world-class tennis facility mm -hmm. proposed for Charlotte's River District yesterday. It would span 50 acres and include four stadiums and a total of 40 tennis courts, with developers saying it would bring the Western and Southern Open to Charlotte from Cincinnati. But this comes as a tennis complex is also being proposed for the old Eastland Mall site in East Charlotte by the local nonprofit Carolina Serves. Community advocates in East Charlotte are concerned about what this really means for the sports concept in East Charlotte. WBTV's Caroline Hicks on your side getting answers after taking those concerns to city leaders. A $400 million tennis facility could be coming to Charlotte's River District. While this, you know, this River District project is incredibly exciting for our community, it, it just simply can't take precedence over what's been happening at Eastland. There's no way. Greg Asciutto, chair of the board of directors for Charlotte East, says he's concerned about how this project will impact what's to come on the other side of town at Eastland Yards. The city is still considering three proposals. QC East, including athletic fields, event space, and an eSports center. A racket sports entertainment district by the nonprofit Carolina Serves, or the potential concept of the city building its own multi sports facility with the Charlotte Regional Visitors Authority as a partner. What would you say to people who are concerned that the River District project is going to be prioritized over Eastland Yards? No, uh, the city can do multiple things uh, at a time. Malcolm Graham, head of the city's Economic Development Committee, says this is not an either or. We are committed to making a major investment in Eastland Yards, and um, we want to make sure, however, that we um, are doing it right uh, and that we are doing taxpayers a favor by not just doing a project that may come back to haunt us. Graham says he did tell Carolina Serves that asking the city to fund the majority of its project could be problematic. It's one thing to want to build a racket facility, uh, uh, but then you have to pay for it. And that's, and that's where the rub came in. He also says he actually suggested Carolina Serves consider getting involved with what BMOC Capital is proposing in the River District. I'm saying here, here's an opportunity for, for collaboration and partnership and, and, and participation. Caroline Hicks reporting for us. Now, we did reach out to Carolina Serves for comment, but did not receive a response. A city spokesperson confirmed to WBTV that it has enough funding capacity to make both proposed projects work on both sides of the city.